first and foremost, if you come to this channel for rumors, news, and headlines in the WWE, and you come to this destination, this location first, I thank you very much. If you're a subscriber or a viewer, I thank you very much. But <clears throat> with all the time, effort, emotion, commitment, hustle, with everything I put into this channel, I just feel like it's not enough. I love my viewers, I love my subscribers, but I feel like this channel on occasion is dead. People don't click, they don't view, they don't share my videos, and they're not invested. It's my personality, it's my character, it's my voice that gets me over. I'm only one person, I can only do so much. So on Sunday, on Battleground, I went back and out to my channel, and I had to evaluate, then I had to reevaluate, then I had to search. And I'm looking... I'm seeing, and I keep going to the spot on the YouTube channel. I keep going to the spot on the YouTube channel where it says deactivate account, delete your YouTube channel. And I kept going back and forth, back and forth on whether or not I should click that. And you know what the sad part is? The sad part is, is this isn't about drama. This isn't a storyline. I'm giving you the reason why I wasn't here on Sunday for Battleground. I'm always here for Raw and SmackDown commentaries and reviews. And, and, and I will keep doing that, you know, as long as I'm getting the support. As long as I'm getting the people that click and view and share my videos on Twitter and Facebook. I put everything I have into this channel. I have, you know, and, and you know, I used to compare myself to a lot of different YouTubers. I always used to say, well, I hope I get more subscribers than this person. I'm competing for views. I'm competing for this. No. Now it's just I'm competing, I'm, I'm competing against myself. I don't care if you have more subscribers than me. I don't care if you have less subscribers than me. I truly believe I am number one, but I just don't feel like I'm getting the satisfaction. I don't feel like I'm getting the feedback. I don't feel like I'm getting the views, and I'm certainly not making money here on YouTube.com to support a living. I, I was. At one time, I was. This was a part-time job that was almost looking like it was going to be a full-time job, and uh, over the last couple of months, my YouTube channel has gone down the tubes, and I haven't been doing drama. I haven't been doing storylines. I haven't been doing antics. I have been giving the content that you want, the content that you deserve, the rumors, the news, the headlines, and WWE, the WWE Raw and SmackDown reviews. But when Battle Ro Battleground came around on Sunday, I had serious doubt. I had serious confliction on whether or not I should continue, on whether or not I should remain on YouTube.com. And we've been down this road before. It, it's You know, people think YouTube's easy. No, it's very depressive because from month to month, it changes. Your views change. The comments change. The interaction changes. When I say I want you to share my videos on Twitter and Facebook, when I say I, when I say to subscribe, when I say to tell your girlfriends, your boyfriends, and your friends at school, at the gym, at the mall, at the movies, when I tell them, when I tell you to do that, and when I tell you, uh, you know, I, I'm not demanding it. Okay, I, I, I'm not your I'm not your mother. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your dog. I'm not your fish. I'm not your pet. I can't physically tell you what to do but it would be nice it would be nice if you could help sean's entertainment by viewing my videos whether you agree or disagree and leaving a comment or or a like or a dislike or subscribing or resubscribing um but you know i i, I just feel and, and and this isn't you know um a jab at my viewers and my subscribers you know my it, it's true my my channel has took a huge dip a huge downgrade and a huge downfall. Here I am at 90,000 subscribers, and I'm, quite frankly, doing the worst I've ever done. Uh, the views ain't coming in. The comments ain't coming in like they used to. Sure, I'm still getting views. Listen, listen. I appreciate the views and the comments that I get. But at 90,000 subscribers, you anticipate, you expect a tad bit more. Okay, just a tad. I'm not expecting, you know, you know, because here's the thing. Here, 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 Here's the... Uh, perception that is very wrong. If you have 90,000 subscribers, that automatically means you should get 90,000 90, views a video. That's just like saying if you have a million subscribers, you should get a million views a video. It doesn't really work like that, okay? That doesn't happen. Maybe over the last, say if you upload a video today, right, and you have 60,000 subscribers, you're not going to get 60,000 views right off the bat that quick. It'll take a couple of days, and then maybe you'll, you'll match the view count that matches your subscribers. But no, over the last several months, I've really been doubting. Listen, I, 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 there was a point where I loved this. I loved doing this, and I wanted to make this my job. I wanted to make this my dream. But slowly, I'm coming to realization that this isn't enough, that this isn't getting the job done. 
I wanted to make this my job. I wanted to make this my livelihood. I put everything I had into this. No sleep, no days off, hardly eating, putting every th every single bl drop of 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 value, of talk, of integrity, of intention, of blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, sleepless nights, stressful days. I have put in so much time. I have I have literally worked around the clock. But once again, I'm one person. I'm one guy. I'm one individual. And it's just not enough. Listen, I love what Raw and SmackDown is doing. I want to keep uploading videos. I want to keep giving out content. I want to live up to the name of being prolific, consistent, and dedicated. And I know that this is a work in progress. And I know that things are not going to happen overnight. But when you have almost 90,000 subscribers, and I know in my heart of hearts, I swear to God on my daughter's soul, that I've never bought, I've never botted subscribers before. So if I do legitimately have 90,000 subscribers, which... From my part, on my end, I know I've never done anything faulty. I've never done anything false. But yet, I put out a video and I get three, four hundred views. But then I put out a video that's not WWE related and it gets a thousand, two thousand views. I don't understand that. I don't get that. Why do my non WWE videos, which listen, I don't want to do non WWE videos. But when I do a non WWE video, it gets a bunch of dislikes, it gets a bunch of hate, it gets a bunch of criticism, but yet it gets more views. But I don't want to build my channel off a reputation that doesn't have to do with WWE. I want this channel to be focused on WWE, whether it be WWE News, WWE Rumors, WWE Headlines. Oh, well, Sean, you shouldn't showcase WWE toys or WWE action figures or WWE merchandise. Listen, it's still wrestling. It is still pro wrestling. It is still WWE driven. So as long as it's WWE, you're going to get that on this channel. But that's not the reason why I'm not getting the views. That's not the reason why I'm not getting the comments. That's not the reason why people are hardly sharing my videos on Twitter and Facebook, which takes all but 30 seconds. So as I go back and forth on whether or not I should deactivate my YouTube account. Or, you know, I looked up my name here on, on, on Google and my channel is actually worth a lot of money. I was almost thinking about selling my channel to somebody. I was almost thinking about someone else taking over my channel. Maybe they can do something better with it. I looked up my stats. I, I, There's a lot of money to be made on this channel. The proof is out there. The proof is in the pudding. You look up Sean Huent's channel worth. You look up my channel worth on YouTube, uh, on Google, excuse me. You look up Sean Huent's name and what my channel's worth. I could sell my channel tomorrow for a hell of a lot of money. But I'm not a sellout. I'm not going to give up. But I, I am depressed. And um, it's draining me. All the while, I am still putting everything I have into this channel. I'm still uploading. I'm still putting the time, the effort, the emotion, the compassion, the commitment. I said as long as I have one viewer, I said as long as I have one subscriber, I'd stay here. But the truth of the matter is, is if I only get a couple hundred views a video, I won't be able to stay here. I'm, I'm going to be forced to go out, even though this is, even though YouTube's a real job. Even though YouTube is a real job, I will be forced to go out and get a real job. And it, real jobs are, are tough to come by nowadays. It's not as easy as filling out an application and hearing back from the guy the next day. It could take weeks, it could take months, or you may never hear anything. So I, I have been going out and I have been filling out applications. Um, because for one reason or another, some of my viewers and some of my subscribers are, while I appreciate it, while I, I, I enjoy the fact that you view and you comment and you watch but there are a majority of you that are not on board with me. There are a majority of you that are not getting my, my, my videos. There are a majority of you that are not leaving comments. There are a majority of you that are not sharing me, my videos on Twitter and Facebook. So it is with a heavy heart uh, and a pain in the pancreas uh, that I probably, while I won't be shutting my channel down, while I won't be leaving, while I won't be quitting, um, if I am forced to get a second job, uh, I, I won't be able to come on here as much as I do. And that kills me. Uh, that hurts me. Um, you know, especially knowing all the time, effort, and commitment, all the emotion, all the hustle, everything I put into this channel, um, along with my views and my subscribers, because I haven't done this alone. You know, countless hours we have spent together. We have spent together. We have been in, in this as a tag team, as a coalition, as a world. United we stand, divided we fall. And I'm falling for some reason. My viewers and my subscribers are just, whether it's a, it's a glitch on YouTube, but I put out a video, man, and the comments and the views, they're just not coming in. And this isn't about drama. This isn't about a, having a piss poor attitude. This isn't about expecting the world. I just expected a little bit more, but it is what it is. I will remain on YouTube. I will stay here, but things are very bad, real bad.
subscribe.